Hey YouTube, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy here. Wanted to uh, touch base with everybody on a quick boot review. Uh, on the uh, right here, I have the Allen Edmonds Dalton, and on the left, I have the Loke Vidal. Uh, there's quite a bit of difference in price on these. Um, these go for um, almost $500 a pair. Um, these are um, closer to $300 a pair. Uh, where you can get them, they're very difficult to get in the United States. Um, I had these uh, shipped over from the UK. The um, and most uh, most companies won't ship from the UK, so um, that's hard to find. What uh, what I like about them is that they're both short wing boots. Uh, but if you look at the design elements, uh, you can see that the the upper shaft of this is uh, all one piece of leather around the back, and it has a heel cap on it, whereas this piece. Um, the heel cap is is quite large and really formed into the into the shoe. So I don't know if that's one piece or whether or not that's a small piece and this is just skived there, um, you know, holding it together. So it's a, a little bit different design element. Uh, you know, this is uh, not really separate. So it's a it's an interesting uh, difference. Um, you can see the brogue holes. If you look at them side by side, are uh, quite a bit different in size um, as. Typical in English shoes, the broke holes are larger. Um, and then, um, you know, what, what I think is really different, though, is the um, patina, or if you will, the finish on the outside of leather. Now, when I polish these up, and they're not polished up right now, um, I can bring this to a high shine. I use navy. This is navy. Um, so I'll use like a navy cream, and then I'll use a navy wax on top of it. And it comes out really, really nice. But it's not quite the same quality of leather as you'll see on the Daltons. The Daltons is obviously a full grain leather. Um, it has that feel to it. It has that variation as you look at it. Um, and the uh, ability to hold the high shine five, six wears um, is much better on the Dalton than it is on the uh, Bedell. Uh, so a significant difference I would say in the leather quality. Um, uh, this is called box calf. Um, which is, um, you know, a dyed in the tannery leather, um, but uh, just a, a very different finish on this than, than on any of my other English shoes. Um, and um, I have two pairs of shoes from this line. This is from the Loke 1880 line. Um, my other pair, uh, my Buckinghams, are, are quite different. They're, the finish is much nicer. So uh, I have a feeling that has to do with the Bedell. It's probably a choice because uh, it's got more water resistance. It certainly does not have an embedded shine in it. So uh, it's just a little something different. Now, if you look at the shoes stylistically, uh, this shoe is a little bit narrower. That's the last shape. So if you just look at the two side by side, you'll see the uh, the difference is, is pretty significant right there. Um, and I have them lined up on the other side. So this, this is just a lot wider um, and it's about around the outside of the shoe. Um, and um, this has a split reverse welt, uh, which a lot of people also call a storm welt, um, which comes up along the side here. Uh, it's supposed to make it more waterproof, although these are all Goodyear welted shoes, so they're all pretty waterproof. Uh, but, um, you know, I look at this more as a stylistic thing. It looks a little bit more rugged. Um, you know, the shoes I have in the background there, um, I elected to put a storm welt on because I like the way it looks. Um, the, um, everything else about them, this is a, a rubber sole. This is called a victory sole. And this is one that, uh, and I think it's called a victory because of the V's, but I don't know. Um, but uh, this is made in England. Um, I don't know the company but uh, pretty, pretty good quality there. The Daltons have a leather sole on them, but this is not a regular leather sole. This is a butyl sole, uh, which is filled with an oil um, that's actually embedded into the sole. Uh, so it uh, repels water. Um, and, uh, you know, I've worn these for, you know, a couple of years um, and uh, they, uh, they, they really are not any worse for wear. Uh, they're both double welted. Um, you can see the outsole I'm gonna move a little closer there. So you can see the welt and then a small midsole and a large outsole. The large outsole is actually a different color because it's that butyl. The midsole here uh, is actually very thin. So um, that's a double sole. Now this is also a double sole. And if you look really carefully at the brown area here, you can see that it is divided into areas. The top one being the welt, 
then the middle one is the midsole, and then that rubber sole is gigantic compared to compared to this. So um, I guess when you look at them side by side, the soles are not that different. Um, but you can see there there is a yeah there's a good twenty percent difference in the uh, in the depth of the sole. So. Um, you know, I like the way this has a, a, a two-tone area where it has the rubber, then has the leather. Um, the heel here um, has that two-tone, but it's just not as pronounced because it's all leather. Um, so anyway, that's... Um, and then you have the laces, and, and the laces I chose, so I, I don't even really want to count those. Um, the pull tabs on the Daltons are leather, and the pull tabs on the Bedal. Of course, it helps if I actually have them in the video. These are cloth and these are leather. They're in a contrasting leather color, which is nice. It actually matches the lining. Uh, the lining of this is, uh, um, is also a uh, very high quality calf, where the lining here um, is also a lower quality calf. So definitely a big difference in feel on the inside of the shoe. Lastly, the heel counter on this is extremely stiff. Uh, it feels like there's a piece of plastic um, that's there. Now, I wear these with thick socks. This is not something that I would consider dressy boot, um, so it doesn't really bother me, um, but I, I feel like that's worthy of note because if, if these were, if I had gotten these, you know, two sizes smaller and I was really stuffing my, my heel in there and it was tight, this would be really, really hard for me to break in. I don't know that it would ever break in to the same degree that these do. These are, you know, your typical Allen Edmonds leather heel counters and they feel great. So, uh, anyway, um, I've gone longer than I do on most videos. I just wanted to provide that comparison and uh, wish everybody a good night. Hope that uh, this is helpful.